Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to save easily 30 minutes while window tinting using the double cutting method. I personally use a double cut method for everything. I showed it in my last video, but I wasn't able to fully explain how to double cut. So in this video, I'll be showing the process which I take when I double cut windows. As you see, I'm making sure that you wanna peel back the liner just a little bit, just a small corner. So you can make sure that the clear liner on for the first layer is facing the inside of the car. And for the top layer, you want that clear liner to be facing you just so that you get the cutout for both windows and you don't cut anything backwards because that can happen if they're not laid correctly. If you have two liners facing you, then you have two cutouts for the same window and vice versa. I'm just tacking it down. I'm using a gold Sharpie. You can use silver. Anything that shows on black works perfectly fine. Here, as you can see, I'm not putting too much pressure. I'm just using the pressure of the marker. I'm not pressing it hard. I'm just simply tracing it out here i rolled it down just a little bit just so that i can get the top edge and i want to go make sure i go all the way up so i know exactly where i'm cutting when i put it on the pillboard here i'm using my stainless steel ofa that you want to use a stainless steel ofas because the carbon blades do tend to scratch so you stainless steel you want to run it across the top at a 45 degree angle and you just want to make sure your blade is fresh just so that you get a clean edge especially at first if you don't know how to shave yeah i'll show a video on that too if you don't want to shave it then making sure you get those top cuts are key you see here on these hondas it's an 18 18 uh, 2018 honda on the right side where the the diagonal cut is, you want to cut about an inch and then on the other side you want to cut just about a finger a half inch and a finger that's fine you just want to make sure that you have enough room to tuck it on both sides and you're not leaving any gaps I want to make sure you round your corners i use my finger it works for me and on the bottom uh over right here i cut it a little more just because i'm kind of i was kind of i'm kind of picky when it comes to my sides but i just wanted to make sure that i had it as straight as i possibly can but at the end of the day that's all going to be tucked into the window so it's okay and on the bottom i want to cut at least two fingers so that i have enough room to tuck it all the way on the bottom see there you go that's how you could easily save 30 minutes when window sitting, maybe even more.